Hi YouTube, it's Candy with Lovely by Nature and here I'm getting ready to cut my Bay Rum Soap for Men. It smells so awesome. Um, what I did with this one, I of course did a 50% discount, water discount. I like to, I usually, usually do a 40% water discount however I've upped it to 50% so I did a 50% water discount and I wanted to add something into the bars so I didn't want it just to be a plain soap for men you know I think they should have some sort of um, special looking bar as well so I cut up um, an unscented bar of soap and like little shards and I wet the shards of soap and then I dumped them in a bowl that had active charcoal in it and then I you know tried to place them inside the bar well when I did that of course it was wet so it didn't work Here, that you can see the little bars of soap. I mean, the shards in there. I'm sorry, it worked, but it just was wet and a little messy. Here's another one. I I really like that. I think that's nice. I've always wanted to do that, and I just decided that instead of cocoa powder, I would do it with active. Um, charcoal because I didn't want the baby rum soap to smell like um, cocoa but I think it's really nice and I managed to get some shards in each of the bars of soap and as you can see there's a little bit of you know active charcoal you know inside the bar of soap as well that's a really, Bay Rum is really, really a nice fragrance. And on top here is just a plain top, nothing special, just um, a slightly different color of soap. So, yeah. And we're going to just put the soap over there so that I can move on with my other soaps that I've made. I made some of them a while back. And I just want to show you all the different soaps that I'll be listing in my shop. What I really need to do is take some photos. I've been meaning to do that since December and I just haven't had the time. Every time I've started to do it, it didn't quite come out. Uh, the pictures didn't quite come out the way that I expected them to come out. So I just pretty much gave it a rest and want to try to come back to, um, I have to get back to taking those photos so that I can put the soaps in my Etsy shop. I'm, I'm sorry, not my Etsy shop, my Art Fire shop. And I wanted you guys to know that I, my new website is under construction. Um, I'm doing a new website and I have to get all of the soaps in there and, you know, add my photos and, um, you know, just pretty much everything in there. Get the shipping and things set up, and that should be ready. I was hoping by the end of December, but I haven't done a really good job with that. So, yeah. Oh, here is my Arabian Spice soap. This soap smells amazing. It is so awesome. And on top, I have sprinkled some cappuccino mica in there 
and actually the soap is made with banana and coconut and it you you, you can sort of tell by just touching the bar that it's you know it has something unique in there it's really an awesome bar and I'm just going to show you a few more of those and I need to get my lighting together because my lighting is yeah my lighting is sort of off but I'm going to work on that I have to work on so many things things just haven't been going my way lately okay so we're going to move on to the next soap. This soap is BFF. And with this soap, I created, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where those, these little holes come from. I don't know if I nicked them. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this is the BFF soap, and it has little balls that I put in there and cut up. And, you know, this is sort of a different soap for me. I normally don't do my soaps with soap bars and then that little, um, uh, what do you call it, that little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the little hump on top. I don't normally do my soaps that way, but I said I wanted to do something totally different, so that's what I came up with. And I, I like it. I, I like it. I like how the soap looks and I like how the soap smells. Yeah. It's a really nice spa. With that one, I think I have um, coconut milk in there. And this one here is. Oh, which one is this one? This one is misbehaving. Misbehaving is an awesome scent. It's sort of strong. I didn't know that the soap would be, you know, that strong. But it smells good. And this one has, um, you know, a few balls in it as well. And it has um, the texture top, which is in pink. The soap is sort of yellowish. I don't know if that's the scent or what, but it smells awesome. It's, if someone likes a really strong scent, this would be it because this scent is very strong. Okay. Then we have, oh, this one is my favorite. I haven't named it yet. I think I'm going to name it, um, um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, sexy something, it's, it's a sophisticated, a sophisticated soap, maybe I'll name it sophisticated lady or something because it's really a sophisticated scent, you know, it has, uh, of course, a texture top. And swirls in there just very little swirls but it's really nice and on, on my um, studio I list all of the um, different notes that are in there and this one here is bite me that's lovely's favorite lovely love that soap there it's called bite me and the scent is awesome and I really love how I did this soap. It's made with strawberries, fresh strawberries. And it has a textured top, just a slightly textured top with a um a lighter pink. So yeah, really nice soap. These all are ready too. They're ready for sale. I made these back in December. So they're ready to be listed on my um, shop. Definitely ready for Valentine's Day. I like how it has like a little smile, little mouth in the inside. And I have some um, 
iridescent glitter in there as well. Then I'm going to show you my mint chocolate chip. This soap caused me so much trouble, but it smells great. Um, when I was doing this soap here, I, oh, first let me tell you about the chips on top. The chips on top, I wanted to make them, you know, with just um, cocoa and cocoa powder and active charcoal, but I couldn't get the color that I wanted. I kept adding, the, you know, the colors together and it wouldn't get the, t the color that I wanted, so I had to add a little bit of brown oxide to it and it gave me the um, the correct color for the chips that I wanted. But anyway, when I tried to make this soap, I made the soap of, of course, a 50% water discount. I put it in the mold, and then I realized I didn't scent it. So I had to pour it out of the mold, pour it back in the container, and then I mixed it all up with the scent, then I poured it back in the mold, and when I looked over to you know, um, on my counter, this, um, my, what is it, my super fatting oils were sitting there, so I had to, I tried to first pour it into the container, you know, into the mold with it, but it was too much, so I had to pour it out again, pour my super fatting oils in there, and then pour it back into the mold, so, you know, of course, my chips aren't placed exactly where I would have liked them. However, I think it looks nice and it smells nice. And actually, I tried to color the soap to make it a mint green, and it just that it just ended up turning this color here. So I should have just let it do what it was going to do. But soap smells awesome. This is definitely a nice scent for Valentine's Day. I love those chips in there. And another thing is I wanted to do the crinkle cut. I just think the crinkle cut is nice, nicer when you have embeds in there. It, it makes it look really nice. Okay, so my next soap is, of course, um, Dirt On Clean. The Dirt On Clean. This is a soap that I made for Bonnie's um, from Adventure Farms contest. She was looking for the most unique bar, and I made um, two recipes into one soap. So one half of the bar is a Bastille. And the other one is um, a Dead Sea Mug. But the recipes are like totally different. Okay. And this one. Oh, gosh. This is my, I don't know what I want to call this one. But this one smells awesome. This is a Love Spell Dupe. But I always name it something else. I love this bar. It's, you know, white. Um at the bottom then there's pink and then what I did was I took some purple and I added a little black oxide I'm sorry a little um, active charcoal to it just to make the purple pop a little and then I did a little swirl in it I love it it's awesome and if you look on top I decided to pipe those strings on there so it's purple strings and pink strings on top at first i didn't know how it would turn out but i think it turned out great okay and this one here is my oh this one is twilight in the woods i actually use quite a bit of um titanium dioxide to make the bottom part white and then i just you know colored the top layer pink and added some um, little uh, sugar hearts in there and inside the white base of the soap 
there's like little shreds of pink soap. So it's not, it's, and it's cold process, it's not melt and pour. That's cold process, um, uh, what do you call it? Shreds of soap. And Twilight in the Woods, it, it's a very light scent. However, it definitely blooms when it hits the water. Oh, and this is, of course, pink sugar. Pink sugar, what I did was I added pink to the top of the soap. I added a little heart down in the side. And I tried to, you know, um, slant the, the heart a little. Of course, I didn't, you know, pink sugar has a dark base. So the bottom of it ended up dark brown, which, you know, I knew it would happen. So I just think this is an awesome bar. And, of course, on top of the bar, I have pink sugar crystals so this is really 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 a nice bar and out of all the um bars that i sliced there were only three that didn't have the hearts in the soap i mean this would be a perfect bar of soap for um valentine's day yeah i just think i you know th this is uh, video well overdue you know so um, visit my shop and you know pick out anything that you like and thank you guys for watching bye